coming up the court when we drench. So I've already done my brows. This is the KKW um, Mario palette. I was not trying to give Kim my coins, okay? I have given Kylie couple coins I bought a, a palette of hers that I actually really do love the burgundy palette um, and then because I was loving that she came out with a set of nudes and if you know if if you watched my last video you know how much I love nudes I and if you follow me on any of my social media most of the time I'm wearing a nude lip so they came out with their little nude lip collab and I was here for it the packaging it was so pretty the colors were right up my alley I got them and they were trash they were trash and you know what made me feel like I will never give Kim my money maybe Kylie because like I said I've purchased products from Kylie that I truly did like I do like that palette that is one of my favorite palettes that burgundy palette and there's two more palettes of hers that I'm interested in that I just might buy but I felt disrespected by the fact that there's a, a no return policy so you can't even shop in store for the items you take your luck and you sp spend your coin and you just gotta like it <laughs> like if you don't like it which I didn't you just shit out of luck I don't know like I was not impressed I granted I tried them on like that one day or maybe maybe there was two days that I attempted to wear them and each time I was not pleased with the way my lips looked um I was thinking oh, okay maybe I'll just keep them and use them um you know on top of something else and it's like I'm that's not even in my nature to do that I don't typically do that I like to have a lipstick that I know looks bomb I apply it and even if I don't have a lip liner a lip gloss anything to go over it we're done I'm not about to be here all day playing with my lips and all that so I was very salty about that needless to say but once they once I saw this once I saw I was like okay Kim you got me really I've never tried anything before this palette she did the collab with Kylie tricked me into getting that and everything else that she's come out with even most recently her little um, highlighting and brightening powders and all that like I just I'm sleep girl I'm asleep I'm sleeping I, 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 I'm not interested but then she comes out the woodwork with this and I'm like Kim 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 okay Kim you can get my coin for this okay cuz this is a beautiful palette it really is pretty I went for the blue color like everybody else like come on let's be real here and I do have other blue shadows but it is a beautiful blue so that's what we doing today okay, I'm gonna set my eyes with our cheap tape concealer or the concealer rather with Laura Mercier translucent setting powder you could do this or you can use whatever light sometimes I use whatever light colored um, I'll use whatever light colored <laughs> eyeshadow that I have on hand but I usually do this to set the concealer so the eyeshadows can blend easily. Okay. All right. So the shades of the shade names are on the back of the palette. So let's see if I'm intelligent enough to figure this out. I'm gonna take the shade Miami. Miami. I'm gonna take a big crease brush, a fluffy crease brush, and blend that into my crease. This is gonna be my transitional shade.
and I'm using a MAC 224. Next I'm going to take a smaller um, crease brush and I'm going to take the shade Albanian which is this reddish brown, no, this reddish brown right there and I'm going to blend that into the first color that we applied. Oh, I forgot to mention in the beginning, so Ken, I'm talking to you boo. You know when you get a palette, an eyeshadow palette, there's that, that, that plastic sheet protecting the shadows? I don't know why Kim felt the need to skip that step. Like you're trying to be high end, you're trying to be up there with the big girls, the, you know, Anastasia and them. You need to have that. Because God forbid, I re when I finally received this palette, if it was damaged or in any type of condition, that would have been definitely something she would have heard about. Also, there was nothing covering the mirror. <laughs> like, I only say this and I only mention this because it's Kim. And and I love Kim, but I'm just saying, like, if you, you're trying to be up there, you didn't come out with no, you know, line for Target or anything like that. You wanted a high-end line you're not even selling it in Sephora or anything you're selling it so you can keep you know selling it on KKW so you can keep all the coins to yourself you gotta have the quality boo the sticker on the back is all crooked like that's all I gotta say about that so we'll be taking the shade Albanian So I decided to take Albanian with my MAC 286 brush. I was doing a better job of applying the shadow the way I wanted it to. M433 and go into the shade Loyalty, this dark brown. Honestly, this is probably my least favorite shade in the palette. Like, it's just muddy brown. It's hard to blend out. Taking my e.l.f. glitter primer. Take another brush. This is just a flat eyeshadow brush. Um, it's the Morphe M167. People ask me all the time about brushes. Yes, brushes do matter. It does matter what brush you use um, for what. Like I am constantly buying brushes because brushes do different things. Different brushes do different things. Morphe is a great start to buying brushes. Morphe is inexpensive. 
Um, the quality sometimes can be lacking, but honestly, some of my favorite brushes, whether it's high-end, drugstore, whatever, are Morphe. So this is the M167. I'm going to dip into the blue shade, which is Libra. The famous blue shade that everybody named Mama did, and I'm doing it too. And you can see why. Like, it's gorgeous. Loyalty. Blend out the harsh lines. Yeah, and this blue is what's up. Like, there have been other blues before, but this is blue. Okay, so I did the rest of my face off camera just for time purposes. I'm gonna finish the rest of the eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the rest of the eyes. I'm pretty much taking the same shades that I put in the crease. I'm gonna smudge them under my lower lash line. So I'm taking Miami and Albanian. really like doing this under my lash line it just just completes the look when you add these shadows ties everything in together the same brush you know what I would have done if I had thought about it longer I would have used Vegas this like purple -y color to and to deepen up the crease instead of um, loyalty because it's such like a muddy gray brown I don't like that brown I like warmer browns that's not the that's not my type of brown okay so then I'm going to take a small like de small detailed brush And I'm going to take that first shimmery shade, 2008, this one right here, and I'm gonna put that in my inner canthus. Just to brighten that up. And I dip my nail in there. Then I'm gonna take that blue and put it on the waterline. Because why not? It's so pretty. The blue is the star of the show. This look and in this palette it is the star of the show that's a nice blue I 
also purchased her um, lipstick. This packaging is so cute. It's classic K, it's a classic nude. I love nude, I just, ugh, there's just something about it. It's, it just suits everyone and it's so pretty, it's so classic and you know it's daytime it's nighttime I, I can't say enough about nude i got it the packaging is cute it looks hella small though the lipstick i don't know i have to do i have another lipstick here to con compare but yeah it's just a neutral nude basically okay so i'm going to line my lips with whirl lip liner I would have used uh, cork, but I was unable to find it. Okay, Kim, let's see. Okay, so this is pretty much the completed look. Um, like I said a million times before throughout the course of this video, this blue is, is just, it's beautiful. Um, and I can appreciate the color scheme of the palette, neutrals, um, all colors that I would wear. I definitely think it's worth the money. I think she cut corners a little bit. You don't need to do that, Kim. You got the coins, but you know it's a beautiful palette or whatever um honestly i'm not interested in anything else from kkw beauty um nothing that she released prior to this really spoke to me or anything that she's releasing after this i don't know i was very turned off by the shipping thing just because i feel like they profit a lot off of the kardashians i mean they profit a lot off of um their popularity knowing that they'll more or less sell out like regardless um so when i see like you know um little things like oh you know you should be shipping these things out okay like we get it you and you had to have anticipated that it was going to be you know sold out that there were going to be a large quantity of orders why i'm in new york okay why would i have to wait the six business days for shipping and I, that sounds that sounds a little bratty but um, I'm just <laughs> used to getting um, shipments a lot quicker than that but with all that being said I do love the palette um, she comes out with something that that you know grabs my attention the way this did then of course yeah I'm not a hater I will purchase um, and like I said, like I was resistant to purchase anything from Kylie because I was just like, I wasn't here for it initially. And then she came out with the burgundy palette. I was all about that. Um, and there's two more palettes that I'm just like very drawn to. Um, not too much else, especially after the debacle with the lipsticks, like those, those lipsticks that she collabed with Kim on were horrible in my humble opinion. So, but anyway, I hope you like this look. Leave me a comment, um, share, me, share your thoughts with me um, below, comment, like the video, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Um, I'm so inspired and motivated to be recording, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be coming with that fire, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'll be recording more often, so um, subscribe so you know exactly when I upload, and I will be listing everything else that I used on my face as far as like my foundation and all that good stuff. Yeah, so, you know, if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I want some comments. I want to read some comments. I want to know your thoughts um, and suggestions as far as what you'd like me to record, what type of tutorials, what you're interested in. I got a couple of story times in mind. Um, I don't know. I'm just 
so motivated to record and I've been so inspired and so there's gonna be more more um, consistent content coming on this channel so if you're not already make sure you subscribe so you know exactly when I upload um, other than that thank you so much for watching as always I'm always in the top shit Box seats, bitch, fuck the gossip How many of them could've took it with finesse? Now everybody like she really